Hello everyone and welcome to the Get Fixed channel. Today we will be looking at a Samsung UN58TU7000F. This is um, a, sorry, the 7 series. And um, the basic problem is that um, when you switch on the TV, um, it's power cycles. You would see a brief uh, backlight show up, it goes dark, and then you hear something like a chime in the background. So it just keeps doing that. This is going to be something that um, we are going to attempt and repair, and um, hopefully we should be able to get this solved. There's this arrow here. Um, so you just get something beneath it. Here the clicks. Okay. This should get something that's a bit bigger. Um, something that will be able to okay, I just put this thing here I guess something that is a bit longer and then just It looks like you need to get a bit of you don't have to use too much force you don't have to use too much force and um, just go all the way around I will put the camera down and then do it so basically you do it from this side to this side and then all the way to the front here and then to the side but get something that is a bit longer and go all the way maybe about this length to get everything popped yeah because uh, it, some of them were a bit stubborn so basically you just have to go in but not too hard not too hard because even whilst i was trying to do it the panel looked like it wanted to come off if you look here you can see here you see the panel felt like even coming off so it has to be done very gently so that you don't crack the panel but just work your way around with something a bit thicker um, just once you get so after you have worked your way around all the edges um, I then have to just lift from this side okay lift from this side and you should be able to open it up like that see okay. one thing to note is that um, just lift it um, maybe about half not don't open it up like this and just take it off I realize that there are some clips at the back end okay so basically um, trying to do this with the camera is difficult but have this opened this way don't just push it up because they you could break the hinge the hinge there are some little clips here okay at the back so basically whilst it's open slightly just wiggle it a little bit yeah just push bring it down a bit let, let the lid fall a bit to the floor and then push it up okay so I missed that just push see where my hand is yeah just push it okay and then just do it little by little Once that side is open, I think you can then come around to this side. See now it's a bit open. And then basically just pull it up a bit. Okay. 
just use your finger Okay, pull it this way. And just pry it up a bit. Okay, it opens. And just keep going on the side. Okay, and then it comes off. Okay. Okay. So the back is now opened, and um, I'm going to switch it on so that uh, we look at what is doing from behind. So I plug it in. See the back light comes on, goes off, slightly on, and then you hear the sound. And so. That's basically what's happening. Backlight comes on, goes off, slightly on again, and then you hear the sound. Okay. So just wanted to point out a few things. I picked up this stuff, this broken tabs from along these areas. So you see this one here, this one here, there should be another one here. So um, there should be another one here. So even though I thought I was so careful, <laughs> I still broke these tabs. But it looks like those tabs are the ones that hold the panel in place. Because um, these ones here have some form of a groove that clips to the to the underside of the back cover so just wanted to show you just wanted to show you this after all the care well maybe i didn't take care that is why i still broke them so um please take note after you open it when you're opening the bottom here you have to be very careful a bit more careful so that you don't break the stabs okay yeah so we have um, the motherboard. It looks like this model does not have a T-Con board. So the T-Con board is integrated here. And then we have the power supply here. Okay. And um, this is the motherboard connector. And this is the... This is... Wow. This is fancy. This is... This is the backlight. This is the backlight. And I don't see any screws here. So technically, I see some arrows here. Um, so it looks like you slide. So let's say if I were to take this one off. OK. OK. Now, this is the backlight. I, this is the backlight because it's indicated here LEDs. Um, you can see here, you see the uh, LED. So you can press this down. And I think once you press this down, you lift this up and then you slide because there is kind of an arrow allowing a slide. So I think you do this, you push this one down, and then you push it. See? So that one gets loose and you push this one also and I think that is how the power supply comes off okay so yeah that is the that is the uh, backlight okay I learned something new today yeah so that's it so at this point what I'm going to do is I've encountered a problem like this before with this continuous switch on shut off switch on shut off and it was an LG TV and in that LG TV there was an issue 
with the drivers here the panel drivers but what i'm going to do is i'm going to do elimination just to see if it could be the power supply or the motherboard or it could be this one's here okay so um i'm going to i was just doing this for demonstration purposes i'm going to put this back okay not entirely back because i don't want to connect the mother i don't want to connect the 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 backlight and then i'm just going to switch it on and see if we would be able to stay on so i'm connecting it back but please make sure that this thing i've removed it the uh, the backlight is not connected but make sure it is still on the mat because um, you could shut it if it's falling directly on on the ch on the chassis so just make sure you push it back not entirely all the way to get the connector so that's what i'm doing i'm just trying to see if without the backlight connected we will be able to get full power and then will the tv stay on without looping switch it on okay i just switched it on just waiting to hear if i can hear a sound Okay, so the backlight, so the st the standby light keeps blinking. See? Okay, so it looks like it's still boot looping. Okay. Yep. There was that there was a slight sound okay so it's still boot looping yeah okay so i'm gonna switch it off so i've just i've just reconnected this one and um, um okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to disconnect this one just gonna disconnect the panel and, and see if we will be able to get a constant, yeah. So definitely I don't see the issue being the, the power supply because it looks like the power supply is, it could still be, right? It's, it could still be. Um, so let me plug it back in. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, just standing there waiting. I forgot to plug back in the main supply. Okay, so let's look for backlights. Yes, we have the backlight blinking. See the backlight? Okay, do you hear the sound? Oh, and look, the backlight is fully lit. See? See? The backlight is fully lit. We can just do a quick check here. Yep, it's just it's just backlight. Yeah. Okay. So this gives us a fair idea. This gives us a fair idea that um, we have a problem here somewhere. Okay. Okay. So let's switch it off. and uh, i switched it off and even when it's off you see the standby light is stationed and solid so that means we have a problem somewhere so i've just disconnected this one here but this one would have power so make sure make sure you put it in such a way that these things do not touch the chassis and cause uh, more further damage so when I disconnect this, now we have this stagnant. Everything is okay. Let me check if there is any picture. <clears throat> okay. Let's 
see here. Okay, so there is no picture. Okay, um, now that um, I have isolated this side of the panel, um, I'm going to test the capacitors. Okay, so it's unfortunate I, am, I didn't find any capacitors or anything that was shorted. I checked, I checked all the capacitors and none of them is shorted. Another option would be for me to use the, the taping method. So whatever is causing the short or whatever is causing the TV to restart, is going to be one of these so i'm going to be taping them um and then just to see if i will be able to find where the shot is coming from okay um after many consistent tries um that's using the tape this is where i am at um now it's not too clear there's so many lines in there okay so many lines now I'm just gonna put it down and um, show you let me just switch it off right. so this get this back out of the way so this is the portion I had to change the tape this was the this was the, the size of the tape I was using earlier but then still was just going through I was just not getting anything so this is how thick um, I used right now I know I have a picture now so many lines so I'm going to basically going to be going through them um, I know the issue is somewhere here between here and then there I'm going to um, go through them I check with my my smaller tape and see if I can narrow down on the pins sometimes the challenge is that you may have the problem coming from you could have an issue coming from pins that are not together you may have just one pin being the issue you may have several pins so you may have to block one here block one there it's just yeah it's just something but i would see i would be trying some combinations and see where i will be at and then uh and again, it could be a different situation for everyone. Your pins, your pin issue may be somewhere here and not here. Yeah, that is okay. So this is where I'm at now. <laughs> um, it's more like a lottery. <laughs> so um, you see there are very, very, very tiny lines in there. But the picture quality is much better than before. And um, this is because I have reduced... Go back there. Switch it off. Take this out of the way. So, um, this was the this was the tape I used earlier, where I blocked off about almost half of the pins, right? Okay. So. So this is how much I've reduced the pins that the, 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 I, I took back the smaller tape and this is where I've narrowed it down to. So it looks like 
I am having the issues between this place to that place. So I'm going to try and continue to reduce the tape until I get to whichever pin it is. Okay, um, so, so far this is the best that I've been able to bring the TV to. Um, now you see that on the left side here, there are these purple kind of lines. So the TV, half of it has kind of a purple line if you look at um, the image itself. So this is not a great fix. So you can see there's green and purple grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is not like this is not a perfect fix um but it is something that can keep you going for a while until maybe you're able to get a new tv and um, i'm going to show you quickly in uh, just a moment with different combinations and trials trial and error if i should say this is this is what I came to, okay? You can see if I turn it a bit, you will see the shiny parts. So basically, I had to block pin 7, pin 8, and then pin 17, okay? So 7, 8, and then 17. Now, 7 and 8, when I blocked 7 and 8, the image was, was, was better. The image was good. There were a few purple lines and the image, you wouldn't see half the screen being having a purple image. But then after about a while, the, the TV will shut off and then it will begin to do the power cycling again. So I continued trying to cover. And then when I covered pin 17, which is this one here. It's difficult to see, but it's the is the one with the thickest kind of the one in between, yeah, where my fingernail is. When I block that one, now the TV stays on continuously, and it doesn't power cycle anymore. But then the purple lines are there. So this is not a great fix, I would say, but um, things like this because I tested all the capacitors, I tested the components, and I didn't find any short so from research it looks like the short is in the panel itself the panel itself has a short so with this usually it's more like there isn't much of help that you can get um one thing mm -hmm. one other thing is that what i i did was um when you look on this side of the panel you would have ck1 you would have this numeric this kind of labels here this same, these same labels are found on the on the other side. Okay, so what I was doing was, um, I did continuity test. So I'll place it on CK one here, and I'll place the other probe on CK one here, and then if there's continuity, to beep. So um, by doing that, I was able to find out which ones had been blocked for here. Okay, I I have blocked three pins, so three. Three stuffs here did not give a continuity, and that was CK1, CK2, and then VGH. In some videos that you may have seen, you would see people cutting, you would see people connect, cutting the connections here. Some may be removing the resistors. So some some people just cut the whole thing. They just cut everything. They just keep cutting connect the connections. So what I'm intending to do is I'm also going to try the cutting for the CK1 and CK2 and then the VGH and then see what I would get. Maybe I will do a second part to this video, but um, I just hope this information <coughs> will be useful. <coughs> I'm still going to do some more investigations and find out if I would be able to come out with something. If I do, I may do a second part to this um, fix. But um, at the moment, if you have an issue like this, you can try this and then have something that you can use temporarily until maybe you can get um, another TV. But hopefully this can help someone 
Um, if you also have any ideas, let's have a discussion. If you if you have encountered a similar issue, if we're able to come up with a fix or you did something uh, new and you were able to get your lines cleared off, please don't hesitate. Please share it in the comment section so that others who read may also know what to do uh, in terms of fixing this type of issue. So until I come again, your way on another Get Fixed video. Peace.